Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip. I'm Aaron from MyFastPC and today I wanted to show you about an easy service to use in the Windows operating system and that is the run command. Now a lot of people are asking, well what is the run command? And what it is, is a service that allows you to directly and quickly access specific files or programs, folders. And to do that, all you have to do is hold the Windows key plus R. In the bottom left hand corner, you'll notice a little run box will pop up. This is your run dialog box. So here we're going to type in just a few very commonly used. In this case, I have control panel here. Say you want to go in, mess with some things in the control panel, just type in control panel, hit enter. That will take you directly into the control panel. So um, just another one here, hit control R again. OSK, which stands for on screen keyboard. A lot of people don't realize they actually have a virtual keyboard. Uh, programmed into their computer. Once you've got OSK in there, either hit enter or click OK, and you'll notice a virtual keyboard will pop up on the screen. So um, a lot of probably people are asking, well, what's the purpose of this? Why do I need this? And really, in, in all reality, it's to quickly save time. You can access, like I said, files, folders, programs. And also another reason is in case your start menu stops working. It's a very common thing in Windows 8.1 and also Windows 10 that the start menu will stop responding. So in this case, you can go ahead and hit the control or hit the Windows key R and then type in the program you're trying to use or trying to shut down the computer, things like that. So it allows you to live uh, without the start menu. Um, also works with the keyboard. If your mouse stops working or your touchpad stops working on your laptop, it allows you to still navigate the computer, or shut the computer down without a mouse. So. Uh, once again, that was just another tech tip. Subscribe for more. Please comment with any questions or feedback below. I am going to include a couple links down below that give a little bit more insight about the, the run command, as well as a website that has hundreds of commands that you can use um, to do that. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.